So today we're taking a peek at the 2024 Hyundai Ioniq 6. Now, this specific vehicle is one that I did a review last year on the 2023 model. Not a whole lot, if, if anything, has really changed. So you're gonna see, if, if you really wanna see a full review on this vehicle, check out my 2023 video and, uh, and you can watch from head to toe like I typically do. So today I'm actually doing uh, a video more about another week in. So this is my second week technically with this vehicle because I did one, one week last year, one week this year, and I have more hands-on with it. I have more feelings about what it is and maybe some of the shortcomings it has um, as well as some of the great things that it does. So sit back, relax. Let's go into the 2024 Hyundai Ioniq 6. So first off, it's a good looking vehicle. Uh, from the front, back, it's a solid looking vehicle. The rear end has kind of a squished down look from it from the side in my opinion but it's not i mean everything about it for the most part it is a, a good looking striking vehicle that's not to say that there are a few things that i wish were different uh, like i said i wish that maybe the back end wasn't so pushed down um, but more of the things that i dislike about this vehicle are the small things so first off let's start with the doors the door handles pop out at this 30 degree angle makes it really easy to grab the handle open the door downside there's downsides to everything downside is is that if i walk away from this vehicle and i go over there anybody that's around here knows this vehicle is unlocked how many vehicles that you can tell from afar you know for a fact they're unlocked now of course a lot of vehicles when they're locked the mirrors will fold in but you can turn that feature off on a lot of vehicles if not most all of them that tells you that this door is unlocked 100 percent and it is inviting you to grab the handle. That's one thing I dislike. There is a benefit to it though as well, as I found out actually this morning. Uh, I stopped by a store, was walking to the front of the store and I realized, oh man, I did lock the doors, right? I looked back in the parking lot, I could see the vehicle. I could tell that these handles weren't sticking out. They were flush. Oh yeah, I locked the doors, we're good. So it does tell you when you lock. However, it tells everybody else whether you're locked or unlocked. One of the things I really like is the lights lighting around the vehicle. If you've watched the Ionic 5, if you've seen the Ionic 5, I have all these uh, kind of bit, you know, block bits of lights and such. Now, first of all, on this video, if they're flashing or doing things, it's not, it's actually a solid light. It's just the, it's the camera that's refresh rate. Um, but I have the lights I went out to see, so you can see the red light. But these blocks of lighting look really cool um very 8-bit retro and i love the fact that they're include you know in, in bringing in that old school 80s vibe into a very modern sleek vehicle so in the interior um i'm not going to go through all the bells and whistles like i typically do in these vehicles if you if you want to see all my step by step everything in here watch my 2023 review because that goes through everything and it has not changed nothing's really changed in this vehicle so more like i said more in, than anything, I'm going to focus on things that I noticed driving this for the second time. So my second full week of driving this. Um, one, the heads-up display, or I should say the driver's information display, along with the, the entertainment display there, the main display. I really like the separation. It's easy to read. Um, the information that you're seeing on here is easy to read. It's a little different than most vehicles, obviously, as you can see with the kind of the lanes, right? Um, and I did go through, I do go through a lot of the settings in here in my 2023 review. So like I said, I will put the link down and below it and at the end of the video to watch that full review video. I, I have nothing but decent things to say about this this setup um, it tells you exactly how many miles are heavy remaining and it tells you down here how what your percentage of battery real easy to know um, and i think it does take into account the temperature outside things like that so it, it's it's telling you exactly what to expect the infotainment or the entertainment main display here is where we really lack in my opinion this does have carplay and android auto capability but it's not wireless. It is fully wired still. This is a 2024 Ionic 6. This is supposed to be Hyundai's probably most equipped vehicle in terms of electronics, you know, with technology. And it does not have wireless CarPlay, wireless Android Auto. I honestly cannot tell you how that happened because it makes zero sense to me. The Hyundai Kona the new Hyundai Kona for 2024. I just got done reviewing that. Full wireless Android Auto and CarPlay. Seriously, guys, 
seriously, I am amazed that this vehicle was not the first vehicle that they put that into. I understand this is a newer series and it was it's not gonna be do, uh, due for a redo or a revamp for a while. But seriously, that is one thing you need to fix. That is not something that you should even allow yourself to live with. It needs the wireless capability because I am not plugging a cord and having cords hanging down in here. That is not a, a go. And you have wireless charging. Why not wireless CarPlay? Uh, I guess I'm not gonna go any more about that. So as for driving, driving this vehicle is extremely comfortable. Um, it has plenty of room, both in the front and in the back. Uh, it gives pretty good visibility all the way around. The, even the, the small things like the rear view mirror. Now compared that to my Tesla Model 3, that's a nice size rear view mirror. I can actually see the entire rear window uh, in that rear view mirror. So it gives me plenty of view. Small things like that, do it really well just are really good justice there is however a couple things that i'm not as keen on and it's one of those things is actually the noise so like i said it's a really quiet drive it is the plush suspension eats up any of the bumps however the electric noise so obviously every vehicle has its own hums and hisses and when you're not using a gasoline engine you're gonna get that motor noise, the electric motor noise. But this specific vehicle, if you watch my review from the 2023 models, the same thing. When you are below 25 miles per hour, it is not the super quiet electric vehicle like it is above 25 miles an hour, which is kind of interesting. Now, of course, the faster you go, the more road noise you get. That's with any vehicle. It's the electric hum or motor sound that you get below 25 miles an hour, that's a lot louder than I would have anticipated in this vehicle. And so now I'm at 20, I'm already hearing it. But the, the, the if, you, if you drive a lot below 25 miles an hour, you will definitely hear it. So every time you're at a stoplight, every time you're at, um, you're, you know, you're picking things back up, you're gonna hear that electric motor noise. That is one thing that is noticeable immediately. So if you're stopped, you get this, and I'm not gonna tell you it's loud, but it's noticeable. The other annoyance that I have with it is actually comes down to the safety package. This has a lot of capability with lane tracking and automatic you know, uh, distance monitoring, lots of stuff built into it. However, in the morning, if according, you know, especially at this time of year when it's cooler in the morning and it warms up, right? So we're getting a lot of dew in the morning, a heavy dew. So when I come out in the morning, this vehicle is covered in, in dew, lots of moisture on it. Um, so I, you know, your windshield wipers to get everything, the, the, the windshields uh, cleared off and everything. However, when I start driving, immediately I start getting notifications telling me that the front camera is blocked. And then it's, hey, no more lane traffic. Hey, the safety equipment for uh, following is not working. Hey, the inattentive driver stuff is not working. Whole bunch of safety features that don't work because of do. Which is funny because that front uh, camera that actually does all that, that lane tracking and everything should have been completely cleared off by the windshield wipers, but in this case was not. That is just very odd. And it's happened every morning for the most part in the last four mornings, I think now, that we've had a good heavy dew. Every single morning, I've had the exact same error package come up and it's it dings and it tells you one thing. And then five seconds later, dings again, tells you the next thing. Five seconds later, so dings, tells you the next thing. And it's down the list, every single one, until you clear the, basically all the, the different things that are not on. It's great that it tells you, but it's also super annoying to ding every single time, and it's just cycling through the things. But it's the same set of packages every single time, which is weird because when the windshield wiper cleared it off, it should have cleared it and should work from there on out, but I actually don't get the errors until I'm actually driving down the road. So obviously something's still blocked, something's still not working right, and it's because of that heavy dew. Very odd that dew would stop all these safety features from working. So that is just something I definitely wanted to bring up because this time I've noticed it. And of course that just comes down to the time of year you're driving, right? I would I would definitely expect it when it, if it was snow and ice and all that stuff, but do. 
Morning Dew did it. So that is some time and some uh, th some features I like and dislike about the Ionic 6. Now, range, this has a rated range of 270 miles. Now that's EPA rated range, which means you'll probably never get 270 miles. Um, the dash does tell you how many miles of a range you should expect. So last time I went to 100%, at the cold weather that it was charging at, you know, because the battery was cold, it was like 206 miles. That's probably very accurate and what you can actually probably expect. So the inside range is what I would go by rather than the rated range, but that's any EV in all reality. For what this is, this stickers, how I have it here with the long range, uh, all wheel drive trim, uh, at 55,000 is where this one came in at. At that price, it, puts, it goes head to head with the Tesla Model 3 and there are benefits to both. The big benefit to the Ionic 6 is the interior space. Much more interior space in here, for both the front seat and especially the rear seat. You're getting a lot more open cabin for your money versus the Tesla Model 3. However, when it comes down to electronics and features and such in terms of the infotainment and uh, all the, the goodie package, the Tesla handily beats the, the Hyundai. However, not everybody wants all those features. So it really comes down to what you're looking for in a vehicle. This has a lot of capability. It's very comfortable. It rides really well, but there are some serious technological lackings within the interior of this car that I question why they're not there. And especially like the wireless CarPlay, that's not an expensive item to add. It has CarPlay already. All you have to put in there is the wireless module and program it. If you started doing that on a mass scale, it's not a whole lot of money, and it's something that Hyundai should have done day one with this vehicle. That's my personal opinion. So that's the Hyundai Ioniq 6. This is the 2024 model. As before, solid car. Solid car. I really like the Ioniq 5, but the Ioniq 6 just took everything to the next level in terms of comfort and capability. So. Thank you for watching to the end of this video. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Let me know what you think of this specific car. And uh, definitely check out my actual full review from bumper to bumper on the 2023 model. Like I said, same car. So thanks for watching to the end of this one. And we'll catch you back here on Tech Gooch for another future video review. See you soon.